Damn it, Shigaraki! How many more times are you gonna run away from me? You're just preventing the inevitable from happening. It's so one of these days I'll end up catching you and then you'll be dead. Izuku would say as Shigaraki merely just laugh. Izuku had rushed in and grabbed Shigaraki's head before slamming it down onto the ground. Oh, Izuku, when will you learn to stop following me? Yes, I know when you finally end up successfully catching me that I'll die. But every time you fail, I'll just go and kill one of your precious friends. First it was Bakugo Katsuki, and then it was Uchaku Uraka. Oh, about that. How is she doing today? Oh, you know, I know you visited her grave this morning, along with Bakugo. How are they doing? Do you mind telling me? She Aki would say, just laughing maniacally as Izuku would yell, shut up, punching him square across the face, making Shigaraki to laugh even more. Oh, please. You are a man de devoted through emotions, twisted by them. Those cause your actions, Izuku, and one of these days you're gonna mess up, and then I'll get a fatal blow on you, and then finally this world won't have its protector. After all... Anyway, school is still being rebuilt since I was able to destroy it all those years ago, hasn't it, Zuku? It's been quite hard remembering it all, Shikaraki would say, as it had been quite the long time since we last seen our protagonist, Zuku, just around five years, as on the graduation day of Zuku, Shigaraki would finally make his appearance after two long years of just being in hiding, and training, of course. So Shigaraki would easily just destroy the UA building using all of his many different types of quirks, and so Zuku would try to stop him, however Shigaraki would just disappear using one of his many portal quirks that he had just amassed over the years. Izuku would end up finding Shigaraki just around a year after this, and Bakugo would be there too. However, Bakugo wouldn't be able to escape with his life still intact. However, Shigaraki was. And the same thing would happen just six months after that with Chako Uraraka. As now a year and a half later, Izuku finally was able to track down Shigaraki once again. However, Shikaraki had grown quite powerful. Nizuku knew the only way he was going to be able to stop Shigaraki's reign of terror is if he was to hold on to him this entire time. But with Shigaraki's insane amount of strength, that would be quite hard, but you can't forget Izuku is also quite the strong one. As this would be happening, Shigaraki would start to struggle trying to get out of Izuku's grasp, just hoping that he could escape to possibly put a portal and just escape, as if Shigaraki were to not just get a centimeter or an inch away from Izuku, he'd be gone. That's how fast Shigaraki was. Sure, Izuku was also fast as hell as well. However, Shigaraki could easily create a portal within the blink of an eye and be gone. And so Izuku, keeping hold of Shigaraki's neck, he would end up jumping off, propelling himself off into the near distance, where Izuku would spot a forest landing down there, slamming Shigaraki into one of the trees. Ah, so I see you finally decided how you're going to defeat me. That's quite the question, but in order to punch me, you're gonna have to let go of me, aren't you, Izuku? I know how you are, Shigaraki would say, for Izuku would just shake his head, as he would quickly grab Shigaraki with his other hand, winding his right hand back behind himself before propelling it forward, smashing it into Shigaraki. However, Shigaraki's insane regeneration ability would easily keep him intact, as all it took was just a tiny drop of blood for him to completely regenerate in an instant. Shigaraki had gotten so many different types of quirks over the five years that it was just insane. He was quite the strong one. As Izuku would end up remembering many of the people and friends that he had lost over the years, many of his even classmates that had died in just League of Villains-related activities that weren't by the hands of Shigaraki. Izuku would use that, winding his fist back once again, yelling that he's going to kill Shigaraki once and for all. Winding his fist back before punching Shigaraki square in the face, sending him flying backwards. However, through Izuku's anger, he hadn't 
just he hadn't used his full just power, causing Shigaraki to be propelled backwards. Shigaraki would be lying there in pain as his regeneration cord didn't stop the pain from happening. Suzuki would realize jumping off towards Shigaraki, however, it was already too late as he would put a portal right beneath him. However, Suzuki would be barely able to slip through the portal as well, tackling Shigaraki to the ground. Shigaraki would end up yelling, "How!" How did he get through the portal? As he had moved quite quickly, but through Uzuku's anger, he had managed to summon a lot of his power, jumping through the portal as well. As we now see the the Nomu doctor standing there, looking at Shigaraki and sh okay, as many more high-end Nomus were on the way. However, Uzuku slammed Shigaraki's head right into the glass before throwing Shigaraki into the cork doctor. Shigaraki would try to create a portal once again. Uzuku would grab his neck before slamming him into one of the test tubes. As the liquid would, would end up flowing out as the just high-end Nomus would end up falling down two weeks since they hadn't fully just sprouted just yet. So this would be happening... Zuku would end up stomping his foot right on top of Shigaraki's head, destroying it instantly. However, it would easily just regenerate. Suzuki would continue on doing this, making Shigaraki feel in constant pain. So the doctor would end up doing something, getting one of just the, the Nomus or the high end Nomus in one of the warehouses using a portal cork that Shigaraki had given him. As this would be happening, the Nomu would end up coming in trying to attack Izuku, however he would end up dodging it, one-punching him instantly. So the Nomu wasn't wasn't the highest high-end, or the king-end Nomus that were the best of the best. As sure, it had a small regeneration quirk, but it was nothing compared to Shigaraki's. As Izuku completely obliterating it in one punch, Izuku would stare back on towards Shigaraki before punching him square in the gut before slamming him down into the ground. As Izuku would end up slamming him into one of the test tubes, opening it up, as he would end up starting to struggle, not being able to breathe. However, he would easily shatter the glass as Izuku would end up grabbing Shigaraki once again, who would start to choke on all of the water that had been, or all of the liquid that had been in the tube. As Izuku would send a punch in the direction of the doctor, sending him flying backwards, only to be caught by another high end Nomu. As this would be happening, Izuku would grab Shigaraki once again, before he'd end up jumping out of the warehouse, seeing fire all over the city. As Izuku would keep his hold of Shigaraki, slamming him down into one, into the ground, as fire would end up burning through Shigaraki's skin, setting him ablaze. As the regeneration was working quite fast, but the flames kept it at bay, halting all of the regeneration. As Shigaraki just continue to be just incinerated by the flames as his screams and agony would continue lingering on through Izuku's ears, who remained still, holding him down all while the flames just burned and exploded around him. As finally Shigaraki would end up being nothing more than just bones, as Izuku would wind his fist back, punching them, disintegrating the bones, making sure that nothing was left of All for One, and that All for One's legacy couldn't be continued. As Izuku would end up punching, making huge amounts of wind, making all of the fire dissipate, Izuku would sit back onto the ground, giving a sigh of relief, knowing that the thousands of people that Shigaraki, along with All for One, had, who had been killed by them, could finally be at peace now that All for One, the cork, was gone. They no longer had to worry about it. And that's where this what if ends. Izuku's final goal of defeating Shigaraki would end up coming to fruition, with All for One no longer existing. Izuku would end up going on to remain as the number one hero, as he had been the number one hero throughout his time searching for Shigaraki, stopping any of the villainous tasks or just villainy that had gotten in his way. And Izuku would continue on until he deemed himself too weak to go on anymore, or just letting on just someone else to use his legacy, most likely being his own child, whether that be a son or daughter, as they would end up going on through his legacy, as he would end up retiring to train his own child, so that they can continue on the legacy of just being 
in the Midoriya name, and Izuku's quirklessness would also cause many of his children, or just his children in general, to be quirkless. So Izuku would train them in the arts of no cork man. And so, once again, this is where this story ends, with the legacy of Izuku carrying on through the generations and his techniques going on, remaining a family secret, and the dominance of their power would remain on throughout the world. And that is where I'm going to end this What If Off for the third time in a row. I thank you all for watching. I hope you all did enjoy the series. And yeah, I thank you all for watching once again. And goodbye.